in my back on the roof. So we got another cool call. I think it's this unit and it's doing something. The compressor just kicked off. I think this is their one. Yeah, it should be. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. So here we go. All right, well, we got her opened up. Compressor just kicked on right now and it's completely frozen. All right, so let's see what calls we're getting. We'll go common to Y1. We've got 23 volts. Let's see if we got a call for Y2, yep. So for some reason, Y2 is not coming on. We have one compressor running. So let's see, we'll go R to, where's R at? And do R to common, see where that's at. Compressor just kicked off. Okay, it's so 24 volts. Let's see what our voltage is here. 212, so it's a 208. Check that out. So we need to fix that. Let's go see if this coil's frozen because look at this uh, suction line. Is this going to kick on yet? Nope, this compressor's not running. Let's see what do you guys think. Dirty filters? Filters are not terrible. No airflow. No blower. So we're getting low pressure situation. So we're gonna go ahead and kill the power on this. Well, actually, let's see if there's a fault on that. So this one actually has a VFD on it. So these little fans will sometimes burn out and then the thing goes into an, like a, a high temperature or whatnot. The belt looks like it's just been replaced. The motor it has not been running. Let's see if we have a fault. I don't even see the power light on here. So if we look here, this is our power supply going into the VFD. This set of wires is going to our motor. So I wasn't seeing um, any fault lights on this thing. Of course, it doesn't have a screen on it. That's nice. Uh, now with these carriers, that's what this is. There's some fuses back here. So let's see if those things are popped. See them right there? So we're gonna go ahead and check those out. Okay, that one's dead. That one's dead. They're all dead, really? Yeah, so we blew up both, all three fuses? No way. Yeah, so it looks like all three fuses are burnt up. Let's see if our motor is shorted out. So the nice thing is, is if we need to bypass this, uh, Carrier was nice enough to actually put spade connectors so we could just unplug them and then plug it into here. The only thing is we'll have to get those fuses going. I hope in this thing is what shorted out and not the actual motor because uh, otherwise they're going to be down for a while because I highly doubt I'll be able to find a motor. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to go ahead and <coughs> test out these motor windings and see if they're okay. I'm really hoping that it's the, the VFD that failed and not the motor. If it's just the VFD we can bypass that in the meantime. All right, so we're going to open these uh, windings out. It's a three-phase motor, so we should be getting about the same reading on all three of them. So I go black to yellow. I got 1.36. We go black to blue. About the same. Yellow to blue. Cool. So it's looking good so far. Let's go ahead and see if this is grounded. So we're going to go black to ground. Nothing. Yellow to ground. Nothing. And blue to ground. Nothing. All right, cool. So our motor's not shorted. You can see here it's set for 230. We want 208. So we're gonna pop this guy off right there and put it to 208. And that should give us a higher control voltage. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna verify that I have uh, high voltage going to this side just to see if I'm getting power coming to it because if not, then this isn't gonna work. But what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna basically hook up. So right now the motor is connected to this. We're gonna go ahead and try to plug it in directly to this, which there are connectors here, which I think I can just plug them in um, until we can get this part figured out. But it looks like all three of these fuses are dead. So that's not good. 
But like I said, I'm gonna verify that I have supply voltage uh, because if I don't, then I'm wasting my time. We're gonna go ahead and cycle this on and make sure we have a call for fan and then see if we're getting high voltage to those fuses or to the line side of the fuses. All right, we have a call for fan. Let's see if we're getting high voltage. Yep. Make sure we have all legs. Yep. Okay, cool. And just to double check. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yeah, fuses are definitely dead. So now we gotta see if we can find some fuses and go from there. Alrighty, so we're just gonna check to ground here and just make sure this isn't grounded. Oop. Look at that. Yeah, so this is dead. So we're gonna hook up our blower directly into that. I'm not gonna even waste a fuse on there. So let's go ahead and pop these back in there. Power's still off. Yep. Yeah, can you believe these things are like 50 bucks a piece? These little tiny fuses are ridiculous. When I pop these in here, I try to put them so you can see what the amperage rating is. All right, so we have these wires plugged into here. So I'm hoping I can just plug these straight into that and that would save me a lot of time. We got her all wired up. I just zip tied this out of the way, but it's wired straight in. The nice thing is you just unplug it from the spades and plug it right back in. I'm gonna go ahead and cycle power, see if it does anything. We're gonna get an amp draw. So fire in the hole. All right, well, nope, motor's good. So yeah, I suspect this thing's fried because I should not be getting continuity. I know it's kilo ohms, but I should not be getting continuity between this and ground. So I'm gonna say this is dead. We're gonna run it like this over the weekend and we're going to order a new one of these all right so you can see now we're getting 27 volts instead of 24 and that's because we switched that tap right there so now it's actually working properly i just have a call for fan but not for cooling yet so the thermostat's probably on delay uh so now the next question is is why the second compressor wasn't kicking on so we'll see what's up with that in fact we might just take advantage of the fact that we have this guy here so we can actually go into like a a checkout load so let's see here this is a jade controller uh, see checkout amper max amper open ah so we want y10 y20 are you sure yep okay so this was the one that was frozen uh, let's go ahead and go back let's try y10 is why one out yep cool all right cool so we got both compressors all right so we're gonna get out of that so i just want to make sure that it, those still work uh which it appear they do so we just gotta wait for that delay to kick on and uh, yeah so looks like this is circuit two and that's circuit one nice that they labeled it anyway we'll wait till she kicks back on okay so we got compressor one that's the one on the right that just kicked on let's see if we have y2 yet not yet so we're gonna go ahead and put the panel back on so we're not bypassing the coil all right so both compressors kicked back on i heard them all kick on so i got the panels on we got heat coming out the top that's all good that's our supply that's our return so She's back up and running. And I just went downstairs and checked and they're like super happy. They're like, I feel air. So anyway, if you ever come across one of these situations, you can totally bypass that uh, VFD. Um, they made it super easy too. Uh, so if that's the case, uh, we just recently had like a major power outage. Uh, so I'm wondering if that maybe is what damaged the VFD and then it just eventually just died out. Or it's possible that the little mini fan on there probably quit working because uh, those fans go out all the time. You can replace them, but if it runs for too long, it can overheat and cause it to just blow up. Anyway, hopefully this helps you out if you come across this situation. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am, 
hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram, Facebook. And if you like those tools that I'm using, pick them up on my Amazon store. Thanks for watching.